and I have a few uh, food items that I'm, I'm going to review. So check it out. So tonight I'm going to be featuring um, organic and fair trade chocolates. I actually got this for my birthday that was like three weeks ago and there's a variety that I got and I said hmm seems like a, a eclectic uh, variety that I have. <laughs> it's like all fair trade and it's organic chocolate so I, I'm going to review this right now. So let's try the Cho Mochaccino. So it's like a mocha in a chocolate bar. Let's try it out. So basically it has cane sugar, cacao beans, cocoa butter, whole milk powder, non-fat milk powder, uh, coffee beans, soy lecithin, and vanilla beans. It says it's organic. Um, it says fair trade certified. And it actually says 44% fair trade, fair trade certified. So let's try this out. So in appearance, interesting. Um, it's, it's nice, very cheap, very nicely. It's a dark chocolate color to it. Says a mochaccino, so let's try this out. So here we go. Has a nice crisp as a chocolate, so it's made with high quality chocolate, the like coverture chocolate. Good taste of the bold coffee beans in it. I think they use more of like uh, coffee beans from Africa. And with the dark chocolate, it's really good. I recommend this bar. So, this is the Cho Mopatino. So let's try another one. So the next one, I have the Cho Hazelnut Chunk Bar. So basically, it's like uh, milk chocolate with hazelnuts and sea salt. Another organic fair trade chocolate. I'll try it out too. Basically, you can see there's a difference. It's more of like a little bit kind of like brownish. In the back, you have like small chunks of hazelnuts to it as well. But let's try this out too. It's going to be good too as well. So let's try it. So, it's also high quality chocolate that I use. But this is much more creamy because it's milk chocolate, right? And I can feel there's like some chunks of basil into the chew off. Mmm, really good, really different too. It's almost like uh, you're eating like a, a creamy milk chocolate with hazelnut chunks on it and you chew on. It's a good bar. So it's kind of a little luxurious and succulent about it too for dark chocolate, for ch milk chocolate. Wait. That's the awesome milk chocolate. I don't know where I tried. So next, I am going to try the Chocolove Toffee Almond. So it's the milk chocolate. It says it has 33% cocoa content. It's a Belgian chocolate. You can see here. Uh, 
says that this bar is made with co cocoa certified by IMO as for life, which means it is farmed in a socially responsible and ethical manner. All of the cocoa bean derived ingredients in this chocolate are certified for life. So, okay, all right. All right, let's try this out. Chocolate. Coffee and almonds and milk chocolate. So, this bar is like this. It's like a milk chocolate, Belgian chocolate. It has like mounds of toffee and some almonds in it too, like small almond chunks. Let's try it out. I would say this chocolate is creamy and milky, but a little sweeter because of the coffee. I'm going to bite into it. It's like... Oh, there you go. A blend of coffee chunks blending with the milk chocolate is really, really, really sublime. And then the almonds. The almonds, you can't even, like, notice the almonds. That tastes like a lot of coffee in it, the milk chocolate. But it blends really well too, but the nuts, I don't really notice the nuts at all. But again, this is a rich and creamy milk chocolate. Really good. So next, I am gonna try... Let's try the Newman's Old Peanut Butter Cup. With peanut butter centers. So it has 70% cacao. So it's a dark chocolate. It's uh, organic and it's also says Rainforest Alliance certified cocoa. So they say they have six six cups of peanut butter cups right here in this bag. So let's try this out. So basically when you open the package, it's like packaging these uh, these containers. It's pretty cool. It just preserves the product itself, the shape of the product. See that there's some bloom in it, but it's okay to eat it. It's, it's harmless. So I'm trying this uh, peanut butter cup with dark chocolate. So this is the size of it. Just how thick it is too. So good for one bite or two bites. So when I bite into it, it's just, just dark chocolate and there's just soft peanut butter inside of it. But it's too sweet. Can't even like notice the peanut butter, cream peanut butter in it. It's just a peanut butter center. So meaning it has cream. But I like the dark chocolate, it's really good. Really good dark chocolate. It's almost like a bittersweet chocolate. Um, peanut butter center is probably made of, uh, let's double check. So it's made of organic super dark chocolate, organic chocolate liqueur, organic sugar, organic cocoa butter, organic soy lectin, um, organic vanilla, organic sugar, organic palm kernel oil, organic partially defatted peanut flour, organic peanut butter, organic peanut salt, organic non-fat milk, salt, um, organic soy lecithin. So it does have a milk product. It's like non-dairy, but it has, it has a milk product in there. It's not pure peanut butter. It's a peanut butter cream in it. But I like the chocolate. It's a bittersweet chocolate. It's really good. Mm. All right. Here we go. Something different too. 
look to buy the the Newman Owens brand, all of their proceeds go to to a non organization of their choice, and they do it like for good cause too as well. Pretty cool, pretty cool company. So next, I'm gonna try Justin's Peanut Butter Cup with milk chocolate. It's organic. Um, it says it's Rainforest Align 35, gluten free. It's also dedicated. Mm, I don't know what this is, but there's something good here. So basically, we're gonna try this uh, peanut butter cup and milk chocolate. It's even gluten free too. Nice. So when I open the package, this is how it looks like. Kind of hard. So it's it has this a bit. This uh, cardboard, like this, how do you do this? Uh, so this is plastic package, this is the cardboard, how to package it. And it's even lined with a paper cup. And then it's, it appears like this. Oh, it's cheap, cheap, it's okay, but here we go. Milk chocolate, right? Kind of big. So let's try it out. It has a milk chocolate flavor, but it's not really pronounced. Um, I would say it's just kind of creamy, but not really pronounced with chocolate flavor. It's hard to taste the peanut butter. Oh, there we go. Peanut butter is kind of like... touches your roof of your mouth. It's kind of like hard to swallow because it's thick and creamy. I would say this product's okay. Not the best that I've had so far. We're trying all these chocolates. I thought the human own was better than this. Um, it's, it's, it's good. But not not to my my standards though. It's a good it's a good snack though. So lastly, I'm gonna review uh Muddy Cass um, Fair Trade Chocolate uh, made with heirloom cocoa, salted almond dark chocolate, 63% cocoa content. So, this is much more of like a dark chocolate. In the US, about 55 and over is considered dark chocolate, just to let me know. And then, uh, let's see, it says it's Gluten free, it's vegan, there's no GMOs, and it's kosher as well. See it right here. So I'm gonna try this chocolate. This is, why is it the. Uh, so basically, it's made of heirloom cocoa, one of the Earth's original varieties of cocoa. This rare bean mixed for the bar that's uniquely delicious, and you've got to try it to believe it. Uh, direct train. We work directly with our cocoa farmers and we know their names. We know their families and we have dinner in their homes. We help them grow top quality cocoa and they earn more money for it. But the impact goes beyond what we fit on this bar of chocolate. So it's a bean to bar in Madas Madada Madaskar Daskar. Our goal is to make 100% of the chocolate in Mad Madagascar. We're on a mission to flip the chocolate industry right side up by making chocolate where the cocoa beans grow. We believe this is the key to transparency in the global chocolate industry. Mm. It's a good cause too. So let's try this uh, Madikaz chocolate. So it's, uh, it's very uh, neatly wrapped because you can see it's gold. Pleated in foil for sure, almost like uh, remember, just like a, like a lint chocolate bar. 
that's how I, I picture this. And it's, they, they also packed it this way as well. So let's try this out. So this is a really this is a really good chill. When you snap it, it comes from the coconut core that they use. So they use like very high quality chocolate here. And then since it's like the salt came came from a good practice, so let's try it out. I would say it's a dark chocolate blended with, with sea salt. Right out. It enhances the flavor of the chocolate itself. It tastes some like tangy sour note to it, like fruity notes to it. So this is a perfect chocolate though too. It's probably worth it as well, I believe. Mmm. Could also like chew the almond bits. It works nicely with this dark chocolate. And it has this great snap. That's uh, evident with a good quality, a high quality dark chocolate. Mm, this, this, is, this is good, good chocolate too. So there you have it. So I've tasted like several uh, brands. They're the Cho um, Mogachino. Um, the Cho milk chocolate with hazelnuts. The Newman owns super dark chocolate with peanut butter centers. Justin's milk chocolate with creamy peanut butter. Chocolate milk chocolate with toffee and almonds. And non and not and lastly the Madikas Madagascar dark chocolate with almond mints and sea salt. So there you have it. I mean, so far it has been a fun experience um, tasting this, these organic chocolates. So far I have my favorites too. Um, I recommend if you like a milk chocolate hazelnuts that you want to go one level up, you go to this, either this Cho Mochaccino one. This one is really good flavor. This one. Another one, if you like milk chocolate, I prefer this one right here. The hazelnut chunk with milk chocolate. It has a creamy milk chocolate. It bounces with the hazelnuts too, which I really like. I like a lot of nuts and chocolate, so that's good. Um, the next thing, the third one that I really like is the I would say this one, the last one that I've tried, the Madikas, Madagascar Salted Almond or Chocolate. So they have their, I mean all chocolates are really good. Um, I prefer, I'm, I'm somewhat like a dark chocolate person pretty much. More of like a 60%, 55 to 60, 70%. But I like some textures too like nuts, fruits or whatsoever. So. I mean, you can try any of your products if you're interested. Um, and there you go. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.